Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with TheBlogToRead.com. Please subscribe to Blog to Read videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Tussaud Seastar 1000 Valjeau Chronograph, or maybe it's Chronograph Valjeau, something like that. This is a limited edition higher end model of the also newer Seastar 1000. What's the difference? Well, this version has upgraded parts everywhere. Um, a nicer movement and is a little bit bigger than the standard uh, Tissot Seastar 1000 chronograph. Um, I'm just going to wipe this. So gentle. Oh yeah. That's a big crystal and that's hard to keep clean but even though it is a large dome sapphire crystal uh, visibility on the dial here is, is very very good. Um, I, I don't necessarily understand the total reason this model exists um, though I'm happy it does. It was actually quite surprising to me when they came out with it because there's an almost identical model which is less expensive and has the new, um, I don't remember the model, it's like C02.211 or something, um, chronograph movement, um, which isn't as nice as this one. And, and this watch is probably, it's, it, I don't know how much more it is. I don't want to just start guessing like a thousand dollars more. I don't know if it's a thousand dollars more. It is a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> but this particular model, in my opinion, is the one you want. So if, you're, if you like the new Seastar 1000 chronographs, I recommend you trying to get this one because everything about it is better. Um, I just want to sort of show you the dial a little bit here. Quality is quite nice, um, especially for Tissot. There's a lot of nice little features on there, the applied hands and hour mar the applied hour markers, the, the well-cut hands, lots of loom. Um, this is a big case. The case is 49 millimeters wide. That's about a millimeter larger than the standard Seastar 1000 chronograph. It's thick. It's like 18 millimeters thick. You can see there there's a helium release valve. It sells helium valve there. It's good to know. Good to know what that is, right? Uh, there's a nice big crown. Pieces are cut nicely. Uh, there are screw down security pushers here. So that's the, the pusher would be open and screwing it down there. I like that those are black. Cases, of course, steel water resistant to <clears throat> pretty sure it's a thousand meters yes a thousand meters is it a thousand meters no i think it's like 300 feet it would be like a th so it's like uh, okay it's, a th it's 300 meters <laughs> 300 meters i think um oh my god i can't believe i'm forgetting yeah 300 meters which is about a thousand feet so uh that's why they call it a thousand it's not a thousand meters it's a thousand about a thousand feet, 300 meters, whatever. Take it down to a thousand feet, you're going to be fine. I doubt you're ever going to go down there. Um, genuine uh, rubber strap, nice texturing there. And I like that the strap isn't too thick. Um, on the wrist, this is very comfortable. I'll get to that. Inside the watch, <clears throat> the reason it's called the 1000th Chrono Valjeau, there's a Valjeau 7750 um, with a gold toned rotor. Uh, there's, it's hard if you can see, there's like, there you go, there's like this uh, kind of modern looking uh, seahorse etching uh, or, or pattern there in, on the Exhibition Sapphire Crystal. It's kind of cool looking. I, I think I like it. You know, <clears throat> it's always funny for me to look at case backs because the information you find there is never consistent. Sometimes it says the name of the watch, sometimes it says something funny, sometimes it has you know no information at all. This one, for example, says Diver's Watch. I've never actually seen that in the back of a Diver's Watch. It just says Diver's Watch, right? Um, it has the actual name. It says Sea Star there. It has 300 meters. And this is ISO uh, 6425. That's a rating um, for the type of dive watch it is. That's, that's very, very rare to see that. Um, it's just kind of cool to look and see the little features. The architecture of the case is really, really nice. Um, I quite like it, and I like that the hands are pretty much the right size. Let's put it on and take a look at how it feels as a 49 millimeter wide watch. And again, I don't have the, I do not have the largest um, wrists in the world, so let's stick it on there. I like when they engrave the name of the brand there, and they apply it with like a black lacquer inside. C Star again <clears throat> on the side of the strap so you know what you're wearing. I'm just gonna wipe it down again. This smudges up a little bit because it's such a big, <laughs> such a large crystal. Uh, rotating bezel, I like that. Nice, nice secure noise there. You know, you hear that, it's like clink, 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 clink. Dot of loom, of course, on the top of the bezel there. And, and there you have it. It's a new look that Tissot has been, you know, sort of testing out. I think that they've done a good job with this. I really do. And what I also like is it's, 
it has a dive watch feel. It has a modern feel. It has a bit of a sort of a quirky avant-garde feel. And there's also a kind of like a retro quality about it. And part of the retro quality is the style of the dial, I'm sorry, the bezel and how thin it is. Um, and I also like that the bezel has these sort of cut in pieces for the markers that are raised up a little bit there so you can see it's kind of cut. Overall, it's a good quality for what it is. Um, it's going to be a little bit on the pricey side given for given to sew watches, but I think that they did a nice job with it. This to sew C Star 1000 Chronograph Valjo is limited to 1000 pieces and will retail for $2,250 and you can see the full review on blog3.com. Thanks.